welcome back to my channel today we are going to be starting a vlog um, this is going to be the first in probably a lot to come um, this is going to be more of a writing vlog than a reading vlog so I want to start establishing a writing habit and I kind of thought that the best way to do that would be to make myself get up early every day this week and write something. Um, so and I, I have to, at least for an hour, work on my work in progress. Whether I get one word down or a thousand, I have to get myself into the habit of writing every day. I was doing really well right before Christmas and then Christmas kind of came and it threw me off and I haven't started writing since. So my goal this year is to finish my book. So I really need to buckle down. It's now March. So I haven't written anything in the last couple of months and I need to get my butt in gear and just do this. So I'm gonna be starting tomorrow morning by making myself get up an hour before my son does and I'm going to sit at my table and write. So I thought that the best thing that I could possibly do tonight to prepare for this would be to a, completely clean up my house because I know myself and if I come out here in the morning and there's stuff that needs to be done, I will do that instead of what I'm supposed to be doing, which is writing. So I'm going to make sure that, um, that I have a clean house and just a good atmosphere to start working on my writing. So that's number one. Number two is I'm going to go over what I already have written um, and figure out where my next scene is gonna be so that tomorrow I can just like jump right back into it. I don't have to read over everything and I can just get to writing. So those are the two things that I'm gonna be doing tonight to prepare. Um, I guess the third thing would be to try and have a really good sleep. I suffer from insomnia, so that can sometimes be very difficult for me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to get to sleep early, try to get a good night's sleep. I'm going to have some sleepy time tea, maybe take a melatonin and just try and have a really good night's sleep so that I can wake up tomorrow refreshed, energized, ready to go and get some stuff done. So I'm going to go ahead here. I just put my son down to bed for the night and I'm going to clean up and be ready for tomorrow. And I will see you guys then. I'll be... I won't have any makeup on. I'll be scary looking, but whatever. I'm going to be writing, so it's all good. Good night. All right, you guys. So this is real life. Uh, so last night, my son was sick, throwing up the works. So I did not get a great sleep. And I can't remember if I told you guys this or not. Um, but the last few nights, I have not been getting a great sleep at all. So I did end up sleeping in this morning. Um, so that, it's day one, day one, and I've already messed up my own schedule. So I just laid him down for a nap, I just made a salad for lunch, and I'm going to quickly eat that, I'm going to quickly tidy up, and then I'm going to try to work on my novel for a bit. So, I also, since he was sick, I did not get a chance to read through everything, so I don't know how much I'm going to, how, like how much actual word count I'm going to get, but... We will see. I'm still going to work on it today because every single day this week, I have to work on it. <sighs> Wish me luck.
wrote about 200 words, um, which is not very much, but I did have to go through and reread the last few chapters of what I had written before to kind of remember where I was. Because like I said, I have not worked on this since December. So I needed, I needed a little bit of a refresher. So I went back through and read everything last few chapters and I got a scene down on paper. So not a whole lot of writing, but it is a start. Um, and I did pick a point also where I was going to start tomorrow so that I don't have to like fool around and like try to think of an idea. I know like basically what I'm going to do for my words tomorrow. So that's day one. This was Sunday. So hopefully Monday will be even more productive and I can actually get like more than 200 words written. I'd like to be writing between 500 and 1000 words every day. So which is something that should be pretty doable once I get into the swing of things. That's kind of what I was averaging at before. So yeah, I think it will be good. I just need to get back into the habit of writing every day. So come back and see what I get up to tomorrow. Hey guys, it is the next day. <laughs> so it's Monday. Yeah, Monday. And it is quarter after two. And once again, <laughs> my getting up early to write did not happen. Oh my God, we've just been having like the worst nights ever the last couple of nights. So last night, my boyfriend got home from work and he works um, for the railroad. So lots of times he can be gone on really long trips. And he got back from a trip where he basically was awake for over 24 hours. So whenever that happens, <laughs> Oh my god he's like the worst to sleep with I can't sleep with him <laughs> like he just he falls into such a deep sleep he just like snores and he's just so loud and I just ugh, and I'm the lightest sleeper ever so I was having such a hard time falling asleep and then my son woke up and he wouldn't go back to bed for over an hour so finally I went to go sleep in the spare room because I was like I can't like it's it was two o'clock in the morning and I hadn't slept <laughs> So I went to go sleep in the spare room and then my cats were like trying to get in and it was just, ugh. it was just a mess. So once again, I slept in as long as I possibly could this morning. My son woke up around eight o'clock. So, <sighs> so I'm tired again. I should be make wearing makeup because like I look scary, but <laughs> I mean, whatever, <laughs> just staying around the house. So, so my son is down for his nap now. <sighs> And I'm going to try to get some words in. My boyfriend just left to go to an appointment. So he's going to be gone for a little bit. So hopefully I can get in some words. So I'm just going to sit down. Luckily, I remember where I wanted to start off from yesterday. So I have an idea kind of fresh in my mind where I can go off of. So I don't have to waste any time thinking, what am I going to write? So I'll let you guys know how many words I actually finished. When I get back, hopefully it's more than 200. Yesterday was about 200, so hopefully I can beat that today. Right, so it is an hour later and I have managed to write 1,265 words in an hour. So I'm very, very happy with that. Um, that's a really, really good start. And I am stopping literally in the middle of a scene because I think that that's one of my biggest parts, like of why I sometimes struggle with writing every day is because I find it really, really difficult to pick up the next day and start something new because typically I will end after a scene and then I'm not really sure where to kind of go from there. So I am literally stopping in the middle of a scene so I know exactly tomorrow where I can pick back up and go from there. So hopefully that will help me a lot. I think that's one thing that I need to really make myself do this week in order to continue on. Also, I'm really, really, really proud that I actually did this because like after the last few days of not sleeping very well, all I wanted to do while my son was taking a nap today was go and take a nap. But I suffer from insomnia a lot. So <laughs> even to, for me to fall asleep by the time he even wakes up is just, it usually doesn't happen. And then I usually just end up wasting that hour, hour and a half, just laying in bed, wanting to fall asleep, but I'm not even falling asleep. So I'm just wasting time. So I'm really, really glad that I actually just got myself, said to myself, okay, no, Holly, you're doing this this week. Every single day you are writing this week and you're vlogging it. So you can't like, it's only the second day. You can't just not do it on the second day. So I made myself do it and I'm really glad that I did because I was able to get over 1200 words written. So that's really, really good for me. And I'm very happy with that. So now I'm going to go and relax for, I'm going to go and have a snack and maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos before my son wakes up. So 
I'm very happy and I will let you guys know what my progress is like tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow everything goes as planned and I'll be able to wake up early and get my words in in the morning because I find that that is probably going to be a lot easier <laughs> rather than waiting until he naps or until he, after he goes to bed because by that time I just don't want to do it. So I will let you guys know what happens tomorrow. Bye. Okay you guys, so it is two days later. I think I last vlogged on Monday and it's now Wednesday. So I did not get any writing done yesterday. We had kind of a crazy day. I ended up going into the city. Um, those of you that don't know, I live an hour away from our largest city in kind of a smaller town. Um, so had a bunch of errands to do. So ended up, that ended up taking quite a long time yesterday. So I did not get any words done, but this morning, um, I just took my son to daycare. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I have him enrolled in daycare one morning a week just kind of for socialization and stuff like that. Meet some, some little friends. Um, so I just took him there. So I have a couple of hours to myself. So I'm gonna sit down and write and I'm hoping to bang out 2,000 words. I know that's a lofty goal, so we'll see how close I actually get. Um, but yeah, I'm just brewing myself some coffee making the French press and I'm gonna sit down and start writing. So it has been just over an hour um, and I'm kind of at a point now, I've written about a thousand words and I'm kind of at a point now where something major has just happened. Um, I didn't think I was going to quite get to this point so quickly, but I feel like I need to let that settle <laughs> for a bit. Like My goal today was to write 2,000 words, but yeah, I just, there's just been a major plot twist happening and I feel as though before I continue, can continue, I need to like let that gel a little bit. So I think I'm going to sign off on this for today. I, like I said, I just wrote just over a thousand words, like a thousand and six words. <laughs> so, um, only halfway to my goal for today, but I mean, <sighs> Every day is a work in progress, right? So I mean, it's at least I wrote today and I got to a pivotal point in the story. And I just need to let that mold for a bit. I don't know what the word is, gel. I don't know. <laughs> but I just need to let that settle. There we go, settle for a bit um, and come back at it tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna kind of sleep on it, think about it and make sure I'm really happy with that scene because it is a very, very important Part. and I this is my biggest thing right is wanting to do rewrites before my first draft is done and I know that that's a huge no-no but I don't know that I'm 100% happy with this scene so I might need to maybe revamp it a bit I'm not sure um, so I'm just going to let this sit for a while and come back at it either later today or tomorrow it is Thursday and it's around lunchtime, so I'm just gonna be making this um, good food meal box. I get, I only get like meal boxes when I have coupons for them, <laughs> like when they're cheaper because I mean, I'm a stay at home mom and I love cooking. So I mean, cooking really isn't an issue for me or having the time to cook, but I do like to try like different things once in a while. And these boxes definitely allow you to do that. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It comes like pre-packaged, like pre-portioned out, which probably is not the greatest for the environment. Um, and this one, what we're going to be making, it all came in here. Whoa. We're going to be making roasted butternut squash doll with caramelized onions and green beans. And that's what it's going to look like when it's done, hopefully. <laughs> 
So it's really cool. Like everything comes pre-portioned and then it like tells you exactly what to do and it gives you like pictures and everything of how to make it. So these are fun every once in a while. So this box came with the roast butternut squash doll and then it came with a chicken salad with a black garlic balsamic vinaigrette. And then what I made last night, I made this, I don't even know how to say that, fresh par pardel with braised meatballs. It's basically spaghetti and meatballs. It was just with a different kind of pasta. So sorry, my Italian friends, but I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna go ahead and make this for lunch and then try and put my son down for a nap. Like I said, he's not feeling the greatest. Um, he's got tonsillitis right now and he has an ear infection. So hopefully he has a good nap so that I can get some writing done in that time. And once again, I did not wake up early to write. Remember when my goal, when I very first started this video was saying I wanted to wake up early every day this week and write? I mean, at least I'm getting writing done, right? Some at least. Well, you guys, this is it. This is my finished meal here. So I've never tried any kind of food like this before. So I'm really excited. Something different. It looks so yummy. There's butternut squash in there, lentils, green beans, ginger, like all kinds of yummy stuff in there. I'm really excited. It looks so good. And I have to go eat it now. Um, while I'm eating this, I'm probably just going to start editing this vlog, actually. Um because that doesn't take very much brain power to do. So I'm going to do that while I'm eating. And then my son has fallen asleep. So hopefully I can get some words in while he's sleeping. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, you guys. So it is just over an hour later. And I managed to write 750 words, which is okay. I'm feeling very, very distracted. <laughs> this is definitely um, a process, like trying to make sure that I'm writing something every day. And it's like not easy because I feel like I'm making myself write even when I'm not really feeling inspired. But if I wait to be inspired, I mean, that's how this book has taken me like four years to write. Like I just need to get it out. I just need to get it out and then I can go back afterwards and make it perfect. But I just, I'm so caught up in wanting it to be perfect on the first draft that I like kind of beat myself up if it's not. And I'm like, oh, that was garbage or whatever. But it helps sometimes to have a few hours or like at least a day in between writing so that I can go back and read what I wrote read what I wrote the day before and then realize it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was in the moment <laughs> if that makes sense so that's kind of where I'm at now my son is still sleeping like I said he's not feeling the greatest lately so I think I'm just gonna let him sleep as long as he needs to normally I don't really let him nap past two hours because then he doesn't really sleep that great at night but I'm just going to let him do his thing because he is not feeling well and then I can get more stuff done too. So I think I'm going to do a little bit more editing now. I'm just going to give myself a break from writing and come back at it tomorrow. But I'm going to edit my video and see what happens after that. I might go throw in a load of laundry or something. Something boring like that. <laughs> so it is now Friday. I just laid my son down for a nap and he's not sleeping. <laughs> and I'm feeling like he maybe won't nap today. Always when I got stuff that I need to do, he doesn't want to nap on life. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some stuff around the house until he falls asleep. Hopefully he does. And then if he falls asleep, I will start writing. I don't want to start writing while I'm waiting for him to fall asleep because if he doesn't nap, then I'm just going to like get into it and then not be able to actually do it. If that makes sense. So I will keep you guys posted on if I can actually write and what I write. That's where I'm at right now. All right, you guys, so it is about an hour and a half later, and I have been both writing and Snapchatting with my friend, which probably isn't a good thing for productivity, but I did manage to write 837 words. So that's something I've been kind of wanting to aim for around the thousand mark every time I write, but I mean, really, I'm just trying to establish a habit right now. So as long as I actually am sitting down and writing daily and getting something out, that's really all that I need right now. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go wake up my son now and we're probably going to go for a walk. So I'm thinking also that I'm probably going to end the vlog here. I've been wanting, I've been thinking that I'm going to start doing weekly vlogs maybe and start uploading twice on my channel. So I was thinking that if I did it from 
like Saturday to Saturday or Friday to Friday. That makes sense. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. So I think I'm actually going to end this vlog here and then edit it. And then maybe I can have it up for you guys for tomorrow. So then that would bring my channel back up to two videos a week. So I'm thinking that's right now. That's going to be the plan going forward. Going forward, it'll probably be more of a reading slash writing vlog, not just writing. But I just really wanted to use this week to get myself into a habit of writing every day, which I... I have done. I haven't written as much as I've wanted to, um, but I am happy with the progress that I have made. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so very much for watching and sticking with me. If you have watched through this whole thing, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.